graduated the PRT every year. Um, and I had a good friend of mine who was a pretty big guy, and he was he was some pretty quick times, and I wasn't so you know so good at my times. And uh, he pretty much inspired me to uh, to get into running and improve my PRT time. And in September of 2006, I started did my first 5K. It was a 9/11 tribute 5K. Um, I was having some lower back pain. You know, I thought it was from just you know working out that I was big into the gym and stuff like that. Um, then I started having some eye troubles, so I went into, you know, went to medical. After a series of tests, to come to come find out I was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis. Basically, it's an arthritis that affects the spine, the hips, uh, sacroiliac joints, uh, the feet, your ankles. You know, I'm a very fortunate, I'm a functional AS patient, um, so you know, I do take medications uh, to control it. Um, I do have a lot of aches and pains due to the arthritis. Running actually helps, believe it or not. Um, that's one of the reasons why I started running more and more and more, because it seemed like I felt better. But you know, there is a, a pretty good possibility later on in life that um, I could be, you know, it could get worse, wheelchair bound, things like that. So there are AS patients, patients with arthritis, juvenile arthritis, or some people who are in wheelchairs are half my age. Um, you have juvenile arthritis, these kids are in wheelchairs. So I, again, I know there's going to come a time where I'm not going to be able to do what I do, um, but I also do it for those folks individually. I do those for those folks as well. Um, this is my second year uh, doing honor and remember Run for the Fallen. Uh, VA Run for the Fallen starts at Fort Story in Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's a four-day process, 245 miles. Uh, we're honoring over 340 um, men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Who the Fallen? I forgot. Our men and women that died on the battlefield. Uh, they're not here and they can't do this. Uh, and I know they would be able to do this as well if they were here with us. So it's just my way of giving back. God's given me the, the ability to to be able to run um, and, and share that experience. Um, and you see the grieving of, of the family members, whether it's you know, mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, it doesn't matter. Um, you can see the, the, how grateful they are uh, that we run for their fallen hero. Um, it's a very emotional time. You know you're running for that, that soldier or that airman that, that, you know. Again, you just, you know you got to go that last mile, that last couple steps. It's not an individual event. You know, all these guys, men and women come out here, all the service members, retirees, and they come out here for, you know, everybody has their own reason. Amazing to see the camaraderie. You know, we all come from different branches, all different walks of life, um, but we all come out here for the same goal, same purpose, uh, and that's to honor these men and women that have died and paid the ultimate price. Um, it's just—it's a very special, very special event. Very special.